Hello, this is me, Bitboxer, again with the next tutorial of operating system. In the past few uh, uh, of our tutorials or the sessions, we talked about the operating system and the computer organization and two different perspective operating system as well. For now, we're going to talk about operating system services, what those operating system services are. But in order to remind you of operating system, what an operating system is, Operating system is a kind of an environment where the programs are executed. Whenever the program is executed, it actually requests the operating system for some sort of resources. And the operating system provides those resources to the program uh, in order to complete the execution of a program that is written either in a high level language or in a low level language, not in the low level, what we call, what we might call a middle level language uh, as such as assembly language so we're going to talk about the services uh, as we move on towards uh, next concepts and next topic of the operating system we will likely to know uh, what actually constitutes the operating system services structure so let us consider the diagram and here you see that you've really been given you have been given uh, multiple abstraction layers the first abstraction layer that is of user interfaces what are the user interfaces we're going to talk about that within a couple of minutes but right now what we need to emphasize upon is the structure or the diagram actually you can see over here that these are user interfaces such as GUI graphical user interface batch interface command line and so many other interfaces are out there right now in in the current uh, real world so uh, down below the uh, interface abstraction layer we have the system calls what are the system calls we're going to talk about that later but due to call time constraints we will likely to uh, wind up within the short uh, available time so uh, down below the system calls we have uh, operating uh, system services those services which are provided by the operating system to the application programs in order to complete or in order to get done their execution within the system so you can see over here that there are number of uh, operating system services that are provided by operating system those include uh, these services include program execution input output operations file systems communication resource allocation accounting error detection protection and security okay down below this abstraction layer we have actually a part that runs the system is called operating system as we talked about operating system as is an environment which actually provides the services for the programs or the application programs to get their execution done down below the operating system we have the hardware okay what are the interfaces and what are the system calls what are the operating system services we're going to talk about now we're going to talk about each and every uh every each and every uh topic and everything that is included over here within a couple of minutes so for right now we would like you to know about the interfaces so what are the interfaces interface is actually a kind of means through which a user input a command to the system in order to get his task done there are a number of uh, interface types for example graphical user interface batch interface command line so you might have had a chance to input a command through a command line console a command line console or command line interface such as you might have had a chance to uh, use MS DOS or Unix shell. These are command lines wherein you use your keyboard to enter a command line in order to get your task done. Uh, and you, in those commands, you actually request uh, operating system to provide some sort of or specific resources to get your task done. And there is another interface called a batch interface. What happens in a batch interface that all the directives and all the instructions are uh, brought up in one pack and to and packed into a file and that file is actually given to the system requesting for some sort of resources or the system uh, services from the operating system and that is executed so we can see that batch is a kind of container that contains the instructions and 
uh, instructions or statements in order to execute your program so what is a graphical user interface a graphical user interface is same to like you might have had a chance or you probably have had a chance to work with uh, Linux uh, Windows Macintosh and all that stuff so each and every interface like there are number of uh, operating system which provide these three kind of interfaces together do they provide command line batch interface and graphical interface graphical user interface we will talk about interfaces later but right now what we're going to concern with is system calls system calls what are the system calls whenever a uh, application program is desired or required to be executed it actually needs some sort of services and those services are provided by operating system so these are actually the services which are provided by the operating system and we're going to talk about each one by one in upcoming slides so first of all we would like to know about as I talked about user interface uh, I hope that I can have a chance to skip that so as I said that it is an environment through which a user inputs a command to the system uh, there are several types of interfaces I talked about them as well batch command line graphical user interface now for now we're going to talk about program execution whenever the program is executed within the system first of all it is loaded into the main memory or the shared memory and the program must be designed a and given an ability to terminate its execution either normally or abnormally and how the programs are executed it is executed because it avails some sort of services from the operating system what those services are we're going to talk about that and uh, for now you might have a, had a chance to uh, use uh, compilers editors and so many things out there whenever you write a program you might have noticed that uh, you write a program you write a couple of statements over there and then you have them some specific piece or specific couple of uh, statements to terminate your program uh, such as you return zero or that uh, return zero uh, you type return zero at the end of your C written program this is actually a kind of uh, request to the operating system that is provided by the operating system it means or it tells the operating system to terminate the program okay uh, this is a program execution which is provided by the operating system this is one service we're going to talk about the next one and the next one is input output operations whenever a program is running on the computer system it may use some input output devices for example, you have a ISO burner or a DVD writer software, or you have to write a DVD blank disk. So first of all, what you what that software needs to do, it needs to gain access to the input out uh, input device, which is actually uh, input output device, which is actually your DVD ROM, CD ROM, or whatever you name it. So the program requests. For the input output device whenever a program request uh, input uh, request operating system for the input output device the operating system is right there to respond to the call and it actually returns the resource or allocates the resource to that program as I talk, uh, as I uh, give you an example of writing a disk or blank writing to a screen, so for specific devices, some special functions may be required, and users normally cannot control input output directly, input output devices directly. So the operating system is there to provide means for input output operations. For example, you might have noticed whenever you click or right click on your DVD disk drive and a menu pops up and you just click eject what happens when you click eject your uh, DVD room tray comes out or pops out and you just have to 
uh, uh, you just have to place your DVD disc and you just push it back so when this click is invoked or when that click invokes the input output device it is the operating system which ejects the tray of the DVD ROM so these are like input output operations which are controlled or managed by the operating system the next thing we are gonna talk about or we do have uh, or the next service of the operating system we have file system manipulation what is file system manipulation as I give you an example of ISO burner that ISO burners either need to read or write files from directories those directories may be saved on your disk drives or your DVD drives so those uh, the the tool like I mentioned such as ISO burner will likely need to create delete and search the a specific file of the specific record by name so what what actually is there that uh, manage all those functions it is actually a s operating system and the service which actually it provides to for the writing or the deletion or the creation of the files or the name is a file system file system is all about organizing a files or the records of the data into a logical and and to logical fashion actually so some operating system include permission management system to allow or deny access to the information as well files and directories based on the ownerships what do we mean by this at all for example you are a part of multiple users network and some of the files are your uh, are at your dedicated service and you are the only owner and you do not allow anybody else except very few to access to have an access to those files so what operating system does operating system gives you a uh, uh, operating system gives you the facility to apply or to have some sort of constraints which allows specific users uh, to gain access to that files or, or to those files and to not to those whom do you do not want to access the files and the file systems vary from operating system to operating system the file system of Windows might be different from that of Unix Linux Macintosh as well so next thing we're gonna talk about is uh, communication what is communication communication is kind of inter-process communication whenever there are multiple processes uh, processes running on the same computer or uh, on the same computer for example one process may have uh, may have a requirement to gain or to access or to communicate with another process in order to complete the overall task of the program so one process may need to communicate with another process for the execution of program such communications may occur on the same computer between the process or between the process executing on different computer system on the network for example if uh, you have a multi-processing multi-processor systems uh, and you are actually going to perform one task uh, so the task is actually divided between the divided among the two processors so there are number of there are two different uh, processes that are concurrently running on those two processor one processor one process may uh, want to communicate with another process in order to complete the task so this is communication uh, and it is actually provided by the operating system and communication uh, in between the processes are occurred by a shared memory in which two or more processes read and write to a shared memory section. We're going to talk about the shared memory section uh, in the detail, but we are left up with 30 seconds of and the end of the presentation. So we're going to talk about the error detection as well. So you say that errors may occur in the system either in hardware or in software. Operating system must be able enough to detect the system errors and to keep track on errors in order to detect and correct them so operating system should have an ability to detect and correct the errors memory the errors include memory error failure connection failure network that's all for today we're going to talk about next time 
Bye-bye.